That's right, anyway. Uh, uh, right, good afternoon. It's uh, 23 minutes past. One. And this is Mark and Lar for Christmas Eve. Hey, you know the uh, Paul McCartney programme when I uh, started it by forgetting to fade up his microphone? Paul McCartney pro. Paul McCartney. Oh, that guy we're in the yeah. band with. Like, yeah, we've yeah. only ever seen the back of his head, really, because he's sort of singing while we're that's playing. Right. Oh, yeah, no, I remember you didn't fade his mic up, did you? No, that's right, yeah. No, you won't um, do yeah. that again, will I you? Must, I must confess that the uh, the start of today's program, when I came on uh, after Joe Wiley's program, she was building up to a climax of Wheatus and Teenage Dirtbag. Nice. And uh, I was talking to Joe in here and everything, and I just heard a gap and started. Oh. And, and apparently that left, um, uh, what's his name from Teenage Dirtbag? Is it Derek Dirtbag? Cyril, he's Derek's the manager. No, it's Cyril Teenage. Oh, well, I was getting mixed up. Anyway, so I've got, I've got it here, so I've got it in the last minute as he sort of pumps himself up to all his glory, so maybe we should have that, do you think? Yeah, I would have thought so. I suppose cut him off in his pride. Uh, just uh, a couple of requests. Uh, will you just do a happy birthday, biggity biggity bong, to John Bradley? Biggity biggity bong! Uh, right, uh, so, and uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, that's from uh, my daughter Holly, who's sitting here, right? Hello, uh, Holly! Have you finished what you're doing? She's finished it right. She got, do you know what we got down here? There was only Andy Parsnip in, the controller of Radio 1. Right. You know what he was doing today? What? He was making a load of little cardboard boxes to put uh, DJ cards in. Oh, bless. Right? And so he gave Holly the job for 25 quid. She's finished it already. Ah, oh, what? It's, I know, it's outrageous, oh. isn't it? I mean, kids are today, they don't know they're born. No. Uh, will you do a biggity biggity bong for uh, Sue, right, from her fiancé, Roy? Biggity, right, and a stop carry on for the Black Horse Pool team in Dry Drayton, Cambridge, Chestershire, from Dusty. Stop! Carry on! <laughs> she said I got tickets to Iron. This is the bit we missed, you see. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, sounds yeah. great. Well, yeah, so we better have that, or else, yeah. you know. Respect the music, right? Absolutely. Well, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. because if we don't have it, people won't know how it ended, will they? No, no. nobody wants to know, don't they? Nobody wants to hear it. I want to hear it. You want to hear it. I want to hear it, right? I want to hear it more than you want to hear it. I know, but then we've got to play an advert, and then I've got a track by Nelly Furtado, who's a brilliant singer on the show this year, wasn't she? Oh, yeah, I love her. She's great, yeah. That bit was great, just then, did that? Sounds great. He's singing. Just that bit that just went by is the bit I like best in the whole thing. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. singing's remarkable. Remarkable. Great. Mm. Not like this bit so much. This has gone off, hasn't it? Now it's gone down. There, yeah, it's off the boil now, isn't it? She doesn't know what she's missing. John Helium. It's good though. I really like it. I know, and it's just like if you hear a song and you don't hear the end, it's just yeah. like... It, it's, it's frustrating, isn't it? It makes a mockery of the whole thing, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it's got a dead famous ending, that, anyway, hasn't it? Because he goes... do 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 da Yeah, although not today, strangely. One last... All right, it's an Arctic circle of chance. Can you hear that polar wind whipping through proceedings? <laughs> All right, then. Other than that, it's more or less the same. Except for the fact that uh, we have got two very special contestants on the line. Uh, which, uh, Joe Wilde is in the studio with me. All right, Joe? I thought you were going to say very special ladies. Oh, there. lady. All right, two so very special <laughs> ladies, if you prefer. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, on the phone, uh, we raised to see whether there's any advantage to being in the studio. Actually. I'm hoping so. Well, I'm, I mean, there would be, because the answers are here. <laughs> and, so, but anyway. hey, Andy. and Sarah Cox is on the phone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> are you, are you all right? have, have we got you up? I have just had a nap, actually. I woke up at 20 past. Oh, all right. Oh, God, I better wake up. I'm going on radio again. Well, I know. I mean, and you need your wits about you for this quiz, uh, as you know. Um, if anybody's listening and doesn't know who Joe and Sarah are, then uh, Lardy Boy uh, has prepared uh, some little pen portraits, right? <laughs> which won't which won't say, like, Lardy Boy, perhaps you'd like to regale us with those? Yes. I think you will find that Joe Wiley now famously presents whichever show it is she presents famously on Radio 1. That's right. Not to be confused with the TV show she famously presents, whatever she presents it, on whichever channel it's on. Right, yeah. She's also famously the UK's leading authority on Toby Jugs and was once famously married to famously famous ex-Radio 1 disc jockey Bruno Brooks. Right. And Sarah Cox is from Bolton. Right, okay, so I think that's something. Anybody got any problems with uh, Sarah, I mean, uh, is there anything you'd like to add to that that you think we should know about you? Just so, you know, because I usually talk to people about what they do for a living and everything. Um, well, I'm 
Nothing about that sums it up. That sums it up, right? Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, and Joe, I mean, do you ever see Bruno, or is that still a bit raw? I'd, I'd rather you didn't talk about it. Right. Okay. Mm. Right. It's not I was, the best. I was, I, no, I was hoping for reconciliation. Thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Is I it? think it's always because of the fact that he looks very much like the Toby Jump that you got on so well. <laughs> ah. Well. Yeah, but you know, those ears, I can get a grip on them. Oh, oh, oh right. Oh, now oh, you're good. Oh, into more detail than we need now. Right. Yeah. So, Sarah, what are your fantastic plans for a showbiz Christmas? Are you, are you, are you going to spend it? in London Village at your holiday home or are you going back to the big city of Bolton? Uh, back to the bright lights of Bolton after Christmas. All right. Uh, until then, I've still not got me turkey. Have you not? No, I need some turkey, some prawns and some salad cream and then I'm done. All right, you see, there's a contrast there because you got your turkey at, uh, what was it, half past six oh, in the morning. Yeah, that's right. I got there with everybody else. Thousands of them, literally thousands killing each other for turkeys. Well, there was a story in the papers today about a woman's brained another woman in a car park. Me. Said, well, oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> with a frozen turkey. <laughs> clumps of her hair, didn't she? She did, yeah, yeah. No, the woman ran back in in tears after fighting <laughs> with a turkey, you know. Um, all right then, uh, so those are our two contestants today and I feel that, uh, you know, we know them a little bit better after, the, <laughs> after those pen portraits. Uh, we'll have a bit of the strokes and uh, then we'll let battle commence. <laughs> Uh, those are the strokes. It's a circle of chance. 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 All right, it certainly is a circle of chance. Uh, we have got uh, Joe Wiley in the studio and uh, Sarah Cox on the phone who are braving the Arctic conditions of the studio. Oh, well, Sarah's not because she's at home. Well, you've probably got the central heating on, have you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, it's quite yeah. warm in here as well, actually, isn't it? You're blowing the illusion now. It's supposed to be a frozen grotto-like thing. Well, it's freezing here. I bet it's not, is no, it? We can see you as well on the uh, computer link. And when you, there's a little hand, one of these little computer hands that appears on the screen where you touch it. And if you just lean back now with your hands behind your head, like you are doing, right? See? Uh, it's oh. Cool. oh, it's lovely, isn't it? No, the arm was oh. sort of going, pointing to the damp patch under his uh, oh, yeah. shirt there. Then. So, so, <laughs> it, works, it works a treat, doesn't it? Right? Both of them. Um, well. yeah, yeah, right, okay, absolutely, yeah. Um, you'll, you'll just have to imagine that, uh, says Mo, I'm afraid. Because, and I was just thinking, I wish we had a satellite link up. Oh, no, well, uh, well, well, that would have been better, wouldn't it, really? Uh, right, okay then, so uh, if you're ready, Lardy Boy, I think we'd better have um, a final word from the hood, because he's replaced in the new year by uh, Cap... Oh, no, you better remind us of the categories, because I've forgotten mine. I think, I don't know what the categories are, but well, I you've know... you've got the circle there! I know that, yes, but it's so outdated that Is they're it? all wrong! How are they? But I think we'll find that we have Road Watch. I've got that one. Golden yeah. Years. Uh, I'm yeah. not going to be a heavy help to you here, I don't think. Cop Wizard Westwood's Book of Spells. Yeah, Cobblers. The Philosophical Cogitations of Atomic Kitten. Yeah, King John. Celebrity Anniversary. Yeah, and, and Stars Cobblers. Of, star, I said Cobblers. Did you? Yeah, Stars of Pop. Say Stars of Pop. And the Golden Years. Stars of Pop. Well, you did the Golden Years yourself. That was Michelle told me to say that. Keep out of it, Shell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, Michelle's just trying to muscle in on this show just because her uh, Scottish cousin, uh, Hamish, or was he uncle? uncle. Hamish Chowdhury is uh, doing baubles from the gobbles a bit mm. later on. Anyway. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, now, then, uh, we have got uh, one more burst from the hood uh, to be replaced in the new year by Captain Scarlet. So make Are it we going left and right or not? He's no, we're not west. bothering. No, we got, we've got, we got phone and studio, Joe and Sarah. It doesn't matter, we're just doing it. Right? Okie okay, right. dokie. Okay, then, right. Although Joe's going by a uh, uh, previous married name of Bruno, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, okay right. Bruno. Okay, right. So, uh, word from the hood, please. I will steal all the secrets. Um, uh, also, we are playing for £5 record tokens. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, Joe needs some... Uh, go out and buy some Robbie Don't give it away. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, everybody knows what they're getting now. <laughs> everybody. Oh. Uh, Sarah? Yeah? Have you got the new Robbie Williams album at your house? Not yet, no. Oh, have you not? Right. I thought you were going to joke and nip round and save yourself a few quid. Anyway, no one's listening today. They're all out shopping. Do you reckon? I, mean, I would have thought so, yeah. Um, all right. Give it a spin, lardy boy, and let's get cracking. Ooh. Wizard Westwood's Book of Spells. Okay, here we go. Uh, top radio and TV hostess and former plumber's apprentice, Josephine Wiley, is very pally with gap tooth warbler, Madonna, who revealed during one of their girly chats that she had the voice of a horse gibbon until she visited our broths leading Prince of Black Magic, Timothy Westwood, who administered a gargle of hedgehog sputum, chip fat, flash, 
and the sleep from Lisa Left Eye's right eye to bring vocal prowess. But where I've imagined her other half guy been working on the new film Love, Sex, Drugs and Money. Was it? Ibiza? Do you know this? Can I sh yeah, obviously I do. Uh, well, yeah, it's all right then. I mean, it's, Bruno. Uh, Bruno, no, yeah. is that not the way it's supposed to work? What? Is that the way it's supposed to work? Yeah, fine, yeah. Malta? Yes, Malta is the right answer, but uh, uh, don't worry, says Mother. Maybe a question that go plays right into your hands very soon. Okay. All right, then. Are you still with us? Yeah. Are you? You sound absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Have you been having a pre-Christmas <laughs> Woodbine Fandango? <laughs> <laughs> I did open some pomade, actually. Have you? Oh, you see, showbiz. I knew you when you had an outbook dandelion and bird <laughs> Um, okay, give it a spin, lardy boy. Oh. Oof. Oof. Road watch! Road watch, okay, here we go. Uh, chaotic scenes on the beat 8039 out of Cumbernauld near Luggy Bank recently, when top radio and TV hostess and former misprocessed mint, Sarah Coxie Coxie, swerved her luxury Sherpa van to avoid Missy Elliott's picnic... Oh picnic camper, causing Jennifer Lopez to break heavily in her distinctive orange Corsa. But according to Christina Million, how long did she spend writing J-Lo's hit single, Play? Was it? Does anybody know? No. No. No? no? Alright then. Was it five minutes? Ten minutes? An hour and a half? Or three weeks? On Sarah. Yes, go on, Sarah. An hour and a half. Do you know, Sarah, it wasn't? Oh, it wasn't? No, it wasn't an hour and a half? Five, five minutes? It wasn't five minutes, no, no. Oh, uh, so what was it, Sarah, what was the second one? Ten minutes. Yeah? Yes! Oh, it yay. was ten minutes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <That is. laughs> Absolutely right, okay. Middle class. Golden years! Golden years, all right then, yeah. Um, uh, Winifred Atwell had a Christmas number one with Let's Have Another Party. And Fabio and Groove Rider first met at a pig gelding convention in St. Ives. But what was the year? 1953, 1954, or 1955? Bruno. Oh, yes, Bruno. 55. It, it wasn't. Oh. It, you know, it I wasn't. Can't lose I, 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 well, you've not lost yet. There's ages on this. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, right. Um, uh, yes, uh, Sarah. Uh, what was the, what was 53, the or, 53 or 54? 54. Is the right answer. Oh. Yeah. oh. She may be smacked out of her brains on pomade, lack of sleep and woodbines, but she takes an early lead <laughs> against Bruno Wiley. <laughs> uh, right, uh, give it another spin, Lardinio, please. <laughs> Celebrity anniversary. Oh, OK, celebrity anniversary. Uh, this day, 1167, saw the birth of King John, as in King John I, as opposed to King John II, who is John Peel, who was made King of England in the 70s, because uh, everyone in Great Britain has appeared on his show at some point. But which of these bands is a band by royal appointment? Which of these has appeared on the John Peel show? Wolongi, Matumbi, Namimbi, Wazambi. Bruno. Uh. Oh, who was in first? Right, the, the, uh, the judge in the studio says it was Bruno. Yes, go on. Second one that you said. Well, I don't know what order of them in now. Was it Matumbe? I think it was Matumbe. Was it Matumbe? Yes, all right, is the right answer. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Much excitement. This is so exciting. But loads of time. Loads of, no, we never not finished yet. All right, Are you okay. playing in the toilet, Flush? Um, yes. All right, no, let's have a, let's go right down okay. to it. Let's, let's see what comes up. Let's, ah. um, let's not stop yet. Okay. I'm having too much fun. Oh, me too. Yeah, no, it's great. Celebrity anniversary again. Again? Again. Oh, all right. Uh, this day, 1905, saw the birth of legendary dead rich recluse Howard Hughes, who spent his days in a sealed room with nine-inch long fingernails bottling his own urine, a bit like Dave Pierce doing his radio show. But on the 4th of May, where did the gap to Gypsy host the year's first dance party? Was it Brighton, Blackpool, Glasgow, or Southport? Yes, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Southport. Is the right answer. Hey. Oh. 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 Right, okay. Should I at this juncture say, never mind, loads of time? I would. Loads of time! <laughs> oh! The, uh, Cobblers! The seasonal lavatory flush of doom signals that this will have to be the last question. Cobblers! Uh, yes, thanks. Uh, mobile DJ Mark Goodyear is also an astute businessman, having had the foresight to open a heel bar to fall back on when his glittering showbiz career begins to wane. Mm. And congratulations are in order because this year Mark Goodyear was named Young Key Cutter of the Year. Oh, wow. and we're all very proud of that, so congrats to Mark and all at Goody Bags the Cobblers. But whilst Westlife's Kean was in there having his favourite PVC stilettos resold, what did he reveal to Mark as an ambition for 2002? 
A. To write a song. B. To become a dad. C. To buy a Rolls Royce. Or D. To go to the toilet regularly without needing to take Senecot. Bruno. Yes, Bruno. Is it A, write a song? It is! <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that nod you gave me. <laughs> that's a nervous tick. Uh, that's, uh, that's just the one song is his ambition. You know, a, ma a man of modest aspiration, but realistic, I think. Right. Fingers crossed. All right, then. So what's the score? By my reckoning, Studio Toby Jug fanatic Joe Bruno Wiley has yes. three. Yes. Whereas a dozy, wacky Boltonian has three. No. Well, I think we just, no, we'll just call we'll just call it a draw for a seasonal goodwill, shall we? Oh, I know, lovely. You know, we're, we're, isn't that fantastic? Because you know, you just thought you were going home today uh, mm. and just going home for a family Christmas, but you've each got fifteen pounds in C D vouchers. Oh. oh Marcus, I can't thank you enough. I know, I know. It's all right, yeah. Okay. Save me. All right, well, listen, uh, thanks for uh, <laughs> filling this half hour for us. Can I go now? <laughs> you can go, and uh, you can go back to bed. Back uh, to bed! But uh, have a great Christmas. All right, Sarah, see you soon. Thank you. Uh, happy Christmas, go. happy Christmas, Joe. Yeah, bye. and you too. Bye. 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 You see, all one great big Radio 1 showbiz happy family. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, all right, then. And, uh, and, and Joe's off home, uh, nipping through Bruno's en route. Uh, all right, then. Uh, so, uh, thanks for joining us on Arctic Circle of Chance. It's a circle of chance. Arctic Circle of Chance. And we'll have a bit of the... Once in a generation, a truly unique voice comes along to straddle the boundaries between pop, classical, and pop music. The purest voice in Britain today is that of heaven-sent chorister Tommy Grimsdale. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Thanks. For the first time on stained glass vinyl, hear Tommy's angelic tones preserved forever before his balls drop on such choir store greats as that Jerusalem. Did those feet in ancient times walk up on England's mountains? Green, thanks. Oops, watch the cut glass, mother, lest the pitch-perfect purity of Tommy Grimsdale should shatter that cut glass I was just talking about on the tear-inducing Walking in the Air theme from The Snowplow. I'm walking on the air I'm walking on the air again People down below are walking on the road Mark and Lard Enterprises present the best choir boy album in the world. Ever! Ever. Heaven must be missing an angel, because Tommy Grimsdale is here on Earth right now. And remember, this album is not available. 